To me, a lot of these religious fundies are a direct threat to humanity. Yeah, I said it. In this information age, these fundies take the information age and turn it into the disinformation age. The misinformation age. Let's have let's have a beauty pageant and she's wearing that little diagonal thing that goes across across her that says misinformation. You know. They deny a lot more than just evolution, which they can't ever separate the concept of evolution from the origin of man. They just put them together, it's all the same thing, therefore it's all invalid because they don't believe that uh, man could have evolved from something else. Because they think we were created by God to, to rule over everything on this planet. That we're better than everything else in existence and that we're not animals, blah, blah, fucking blah. They forget about all the other things that the theory of evolution has allowed us to be able to do. But they deny a hell of a lot more than that. And that's the real problem. When they deny medical treatments that like I said in the 50s were never a problem they never had any problem with it then but because of misinformation the misinformation age now they deny it they'll deny peer-reviewed articles they'll blatantly deny science they'll say that Anything that comes from mainstream media is some sort of left-wing liberal lie and they'll believe everything that comes from these sites that has the Bible, pictures of the Bible pasted all over the place and says, how does God feel about blah, 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 whatever it is, you know, in the, in the side panels. They'll believe anything that comes from those places, but nothing that comes from, from valid sources. They don't fact check. They just go by their feelings. I like this person. They talk about God. Therefore, I'm going to believe everything they say. These people can, are so gullible in that, in that area because, because they're willing to believe in all the shit in the Bible that, that's just ridiculous. I mean, if they if they can believe in that shit, then they're gonna believe they're gonna be able to believe in anything that gives them this feeling. Oh, they're going against the man. They're going against these liberal forces that are trying to destroy our children. These people are a fucking threat to humanity. They're a threat to the survival of our species. They're a threat. To free thinking. They're a threat to science. And yet they want their theories, their bullshit ideas, put as high up as peer reviewed science and say, You're discriminating against me because I'm religious, because you won't consider my bullshit theories. It's crazy. It's crazy shit. Crazy shit. There could be sort of an answer to this issue that could, you know, and not a full answer, but it could help. And it would be to require that if it's a religious site, they should have to use dot .religion instead of dot .com or dot .org or dot .gov. And if a site is proven to not be giving out valid information that it, and that it's going through some bullshit prism of religion where they want to shun science, shun logic, shun reason, shun peer-reviewed articles, that they should have to register under dot religion. And this would piss a lot of people off, but, you know, at least it could be a little bit of a deterrent a little bit of a deterrent 
enforcing it would would be what would piss piss the most people off. They'd be well, no, this is a valid source. Well, no, you have this and this and this on it. These things are bullshit. This invalidates the rest of your site. If you're going to have this shit on your site, then it's got to be dot religion. It would start quite a few fights, but I think it'd be worth it. <laughs>